Well, hey folks, I'm Neil, and in today's episode of Dig Drive DIY, I get to do three of my favorite things. Number one, I get to meet and work with a fellow YouTuber. Number two, I'm gonna save him some money by working on a DIY project. And number three, I get to use my trusty garden tractor, Brutus, here. Even though this might be the last big project he gets to do, so. The problem is, this guy lives quite a ways away, so I had better get on my way. <laughs> Yeah, are you Neil? I am. Hey, it's good, good, nice to have you here, man. Nice to meet you. That's a heck of a drive from Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if you don't know who this guy is, then you're not watching enough YouTube. This is Adam with Hometown Acres. Hey, thanks for inviting me out. Yeah, thank you so much for coming out here. He does a lot of the same stuff I do. Uh, he's got tractor videos and firewood videos, and he just built a new garage for his house. They dug a pond, too, which is obviously near and dear to my heart. So. You just got a mini excavator recently. Yeah, we've owned a mini excavator now for about two months. I'm still borrowing my father-in-law, but one <laughs> of these days. But anyway, he called me out because he was wanting to do an underground dog fence. And if you've watched this channel, you've seen me do one of those before with Tractor Time with Tim. And I used to do that as a little side business probably 10 or 12 years ago. But I only do it for special people and for special <laughs> occasions. So there's only one reason I would drive my... Brutus, the garden tractors you saw in that opening, there's only one reason I would drive that to Pennsylvania and that's to work with another great YouTuber. So another reason our channels are similar is that you do a lot of DIY stuff and you started looking into the cost of an underground dog fence, right? From one of the big brands and what yeah, did you find we, out? Yeah, we had a couple different companies come out here and quote us. Now we're going to be putting in a relatively large acreage uh, dog fence here. It's going to be two or three acres worth of dog fence and the national companies that came out quoted us three to four thousand dollars because that's a lot of wire you got to put in the ground but there's also a lot of profit in it for them and you know there's enough in this world that i can't do myself so when there is something that i can do myself i try to and i think that's kind of where that's exactly where i'm at yeah, yeah. you yeah. know if, if you have to pay somebody to do everything for you you won't be able to uh, that's right cost a living you know plus you learn a lot so that's that's exactly what happened to me when we first tried to look into putting a dog fence in for our dogs when we were first married 20 years ago we found out we couldn't even afford it so that's how this all got started i found out i could buy a system and build my own knife and well one thing led to another and i've done a ton of them now since and it's a great project if you've got a tractor and you got a little fabrication skills and you know you can make you can make up a knife to put wire in the ground relatively easily so now his topography here is much more challenging than ours in indiana and that was one of the biggest concerns I had is because I work in the flatlands of Northeast Indiana, <laughs> Northwest Ohio, and it's it's just flat and easy to go anywhere. We just took a tour around his property and I can't believe the hills and the inclines and the shale, the rock, this could be a big challenge. It's anything we do here, fighting the lay of the land is always something that you have to consider. Yeah. So we're going to have to really see if Brutus is up for the task because he's used to working on the flat ground and 
well, I didn't bring my slope meter either, but <laughs> <laughs> we got some big hills to climb. But I think we can do it. We're going to find out though here real quick. Okay, we're just getting everything scoped out what they want to do it. That's kind of the first step when you want to do a dog fence is to make sure where you want to put it, measure out your perimeter, and then you can determine how much wire you're going to need and the path you're going to take. You obviously want to avoid as many tree roots as you can and any rock situations or things that get nasty to pull a little knife through in the ground. So Adam's going to enclose about two acres or more. I bought two 1500 foot spools and I modified this here just before we left so that it would accommodate a 1500 footer. But yeah, because you said uh, barring any of those obstacles, this wire will be in the ground as fast as you can drive the tractor yeah. around the perimeter. So. Yeah, if you've got a nice clear path free of obstacles, it literally goes in as fast as you can drive the perimeter. So hopefully we pick the right path. <laughs> yeah. Other than that driveway, which having the mini excavator for a driveway, that's the best way to do the driveway. Yeah. We used to do it with pickaxes and shovels. Uh, we could spend more time on the driveway than we did on the whole rest of the perimeter. So. I'm glad for that. And that's not fun. No, that is not fun. <laughs> Running the excavator is fun. Very much so. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm going to have to try that on for size here before we're done for the yeah. day. Yeah, hop in there. the gravel driveway like I said I like to put it in either a garden hose this happens to be an old air hose that has a hole in it but we'll pull the wire through the airline hose and that'll protect it from rocks cutting and ruining the actual wire once they're in the ground so I wish you could see the elevation differences here because it is steep the path we're going is is steep but we're gonna take off from the driveway here and head in that direction it's gonna be pulling uphill the whole way so we're putting Brutus to the test. And as many of you know, Brutus is uh, on the chopping block. He's gonna be an engine organ donor, but uh, this is gonna be the last stand for Brutus. We'll see if he can make it through this difficult stuff. All the way around with one 1500 foot spool we're only going to have one splice in the entire perimeter except for where we're going to tie in up to go into the garage so i'm just going to connect these two right here while we got our trench couldn't expose that way we get good coverage and then i'm assuming you'll back throw it out yep to give him one last one last really good day you know <laughs> see I'm taking the engine out of this tractor and I'm gonna put it in one of my other 318s that I've got yep this is a 316 chassis it doesn't have individual rear brakes and it doesn't have power steering whereas the 318 does so okay, well now I got a 318 that needs a new engine and this is an organ donor so there you go this is pre-twisted wire and you need to put pre-twisted down anywhere where you want the dog to be able to cross or you're buried Go straight to the winch? Yeah, we might as well. 
So Adam is anticipating a little bit of trouble, so we went ahead and hooked the winch up to the to the side by side, so we could winch it up the hill. This it just pushes right down in. Yeah. It's nice that we get down in there. Yeah. So I'd like to do it like this if we can, all the way up to your your transmitter. Perfect. Gives you a nice little conduit. But nice, nice clean look to it. The hassle is getting it through there. If we can't push it through, we'll have to run a wire through and pull it through. Gotcha. So there it is. Thanks a lot. That was a lot of fun. I didn't. You didn't tell me that Pennsylvania was so hot. It's usually not this hot. We get this kind of weather like a couple weeks a year, and that's about it. It's time for the humidity festival, I think. But yeah, no, it's, it's about 87 out today. It's been a hot one. <laughs> but yeah. that was a lot of fun. I think you need to go check out Hometown Acres and see what he's got going on. If you like firewood, if you like tractors, it's all covered here. So uh, this was fun. You got a little bit of training to do yet with the dog. Yep. You're going to go ahead and set the flags. You got to walk around the perimeter and set all the flags. But I think it's going to work out for you. It's all, it's all working in there. So yeah. Well, thank you so much. I know it's a long drive from Indiana, but I appreciate you making the what was it, five, six hour trip out here. Yeah, it was about five, four and a half hours. Yeah. And we were talking about this off camera. You know, YouTube has brought two guys together who have a lot of shared interests that otherwise we would have, if it wasn't for YouTube, we would have never met. Right. So. I've seen you on screen, but it's even nicer to see in person. <laughs> so I'm not going to drive the tractor home, though. I actually did bring my pickup and, uh, I gotta go find my wife and the girls. They're they're in town here somewhere. I'm gonna find them and we'll hang out for a day. But yeah. it's been really fun. So it's nice to nice to get to hang out. Yeah, thank you so much for coming and helping us with this. And I wanna thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope that you liked it. If I'm lucky, I will see you in the next one. See ya. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's I should have my camera going in the yeah, back. Yeah, I need that I need I need that footage. <laughs> Adam's much taller than I am. <laughs> well, that's incredible. <laughs>